Hi, this is Sherry Methling with Ancient Healings Around the World, here at the birthplace of Jesus, the Virgin Mary, in Bethlehem. He was born, actually, it's showing in a cave here in Bethlehem, at this church that now represents where he was born. I already went in to the area, the cave, the manger, exactly where he was born. Jesus, Son of God, written by the Gospels, the Bible, the Scriptures, Virgin Mary, giving birth. As I move into this video on death and rebirth, I move through Jerusalem into Bethlehem. Jerusalem is where Jesus was crucified, died, and resurrected. Bethlehem is where he was born. Hence the video, death and rebirth. What do I mean by that? Well, we have to ask ourselves, what do we need to die to? For everything is unconditional love. For we are unconditional love and light. But yet, why have we had undesirable experiences with people in the past, childhood, whatever it may be? Everybody deals with hardship at times, some more than others. You see, the light and source and God is in all of us, and that is how we are connected. We have to ask ourselves every time these negative energies, the darkness, may come into our lives, our body, our mind, our spirit, our life, our thoughts, every time that shows up, acknowledge it. But at that time, we were out of alignment, asking and taking responsibility for, how is it that this came into my vibration? What is it? It's in my beliefs, my feelings, my emotions, my past, that this is showing up, that in which I do not desire. But not seeing death as a negative, not seeing certain experiences as a negative, but yet something that we must go through sometimes to grow, to expand, to move more into our truth and our light and our heart space, to step out of the world of fear and into the world of love, where miracles happen, where manifestations happen, where the life you always dreamed of happens. But you have to keep on stepping out of the energy of fear, whatever that may be. As I move forth on this journey, I did, I sold everything. Was I in a space of fear? No. A knowingness? Yes. A certainness? Taking action? In what I foresaw for my journeys ahead? A vision that I had coming to me? The project known as the Promised Land, which is also fine on YouTube. We cannot get anywhere unless we take risks, unless we step out of fear in life, moving forward in the direction that we want to go. Every time the lower vibrations of energies show up, I might call it the darkness or the fear world. Well, you have to move out of that space and always come back to your heart space and say, what does my heart say? What does my heart feel in this decision? My head's telling me this, but my heart's telling me this. It takes a lot of courage to follow the heart space because the head will talk you right out of it. The head is more in line with the human world and the heart is more in alignment with the spiritual world and source and God and the divine, the divine light within you and all the people in this world. For we are all love and we are all light and that is how we are connected. And we are supposed to be working together on this planet to make this world better. So every time you notice yourself stepping out of alignment, judging an experience, a person, step back into alignment and release any judgments, release any fears. Make a list of the things or feelings that you need to let go of, being clear in what you need to de-weed in your garden of life. I tell some of my clients, we have a paradise island, the island that everything's happening for us, right? You see that, you want to get there. But this boat, your vehicle, your body, needs to let go of certain feelings, emotions, experiences, judgments. You've got to release off your boat, your energy, so that your boat could keep going forward into the light, into the sunset, into the sunrise, to your paradise island. I didn't get here by mistake. 
I trusted, I had faith, I allowed, I surrendered, and I followed what's inside me. My truth, my light, my heart. Communing on a daily basis, that's right, communing on a daily basis. As I talk, prayer is when we talk, meditation is when we listen. A balance of the two, very important, my friends. Something that should be done on a daily basis. If I'm eating food, guess what? Spiritual practice. If I'm showering my body and brushing my teeth and hair, as I talked many times before, spiritual practice. Feed the spiritual body. And you will be moving forward more and more into the light, into source and into the connection that's already there within you. But if you keep on listening to the darkness, the fear, the negative energy, then you will not be moving forward into the light, but we all have to be moving forward now. It's a new era, a new world, new beginnings. The rebirth process is happening, but it only happens if you make the changes. Change does not happen without changing, correct? Yes. Ask yourself where you need to change, where you need to line up with your spiritual body, mind, and spirit. Asking yourself if you are feeding your spiritual body daily, whether it be gratitudes, prayer, meditation. You don't need to go to a certain place or space. Omnipresent. God is everywhere. God is in us. God is around us. We are the light. The more we stay in the energy of love, the more our path will be open and spread like the, Red, like the Red Sea will open up. Slowly but surely. But you need to have faith. You need to trust. And you need to follow the heart. My head tells me one thing. I could have stayed in the corporate world, my head would tell me that. Comfort zones, knowing what I'm making, what's coming in, stability, security, yes. No, I move forward into the space of energy and spiritual healing, not knowing, trusting, and allowing. One step at a time, one year, one action, one state and one country at a time. Moving forward in my heart space, always asking my heart the questions. The heart is connected to source. The head, well, it's connected, let's say, to ego. Security, comforts. You have to be willing to take the risks and follow the heart. And every time you get the negative energies or the negative experience, let go of that judgment on that experience, on that person. Say thank you for that experience, whether good or bad. I let that go. Whatever it is that's attracting that into my space, I let it go, I release and I transmute it into love and light, and I move forward because I am love and I am light. Death and rebirth. We have to let go of the old to rebirth the new. Does that make sense? Within you. Here in Bethlehem, at the place where Jesus was born. Signing out, at Sherry Methling with ancient healings around the world. Peace.